Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sorry once again that I haven't uploaded in a while. Because I was away last week, um, I couldn't film while I was away because I was too busy. But I did pre-film, but um, the tutorials looked like shit, so I just couldn't even edit them. Um, I had tried to film a few times with the Subculture palette. And it broke my heart because it just did not work. But I'm going to try it again because I really, really, really want to make it work. Because the colours in it are like a dream. I'm obsessed with the colours in it. Um, so I'm definitely going to try and film that again. And also, thank you everyone who showed me love in my vlog. Um, as you know, I don't really do vlogs. And I was like a little bit hesitant about putting that vlog up. Because I thought it was gonna, you were all going to hate it and it was going to be shit. But, thank you so much for everybody who liked it and left sweet comments. But anyway, let's just get to it. If you want to see how I did this makeup look here, then stay tuned. So for shadows, I'm going to use the Colourpop I Love Sally E collaboration. This is the Shiki. I think it's called Shiki. Um, so these are the colours. I'm going to use this one here and it's called Freckles. So we're just going to start by building this up in the crease. The huge. Next colour I'm going to go in with is Noche. I'm just focusing this one right into the crease. This is a MAC 217 brush. So we're just kind of deepening up the crease a little bit more. Back in with a little bit of freckles and the first brush I used just to just to go over. Um, this is what I usually do anyway. I'm just going to use a little bit of MAC Paint Pot. This is black ground. And I'm just going to go all over the lid. It's just a little flat brush. And we're just going all over the lid with this. Just wipe off any of the excess product on the brush. And just kind of blend the edges so it's not like a big dark line. You see that that's just kind of blending in there together. back in with the brushes then just to soften it. I'm gonna go over it with the green anyway, but uh, yeah, like so. Now I'm going in with the Ideal Duo from Dose of Colors. And um, this is one of the new shades, it's called Mint to Be. So it's like their, it's not their usual white color, it's like the minty color. Um, and this is what the pigment looks like. The paint pot is still a bit tacky, so I'm just going to go back in with the same flat brush and just press this over top. And then back in again with the same brushes just to soften the edges. Just like with the tip of the brush really lightly. Just going back in with the smaller brush that I use with the dark colour and just kind of focusing a little bit on the outer corner. I didn't get up any extra product, it's basically just what's still on the brush. Just to deepen that outer corner just a little bit. Just a smidge. Okay, we're just going to do the skin. I just realised that this eye look is similar to the Jaclyn Hill one I done, so... My bad. But I'll make it extra smoky at the bottom so it's going to be different. Um, so yeah, don't hate me for that. But you know, I just really wanted to use this um, mint colour. I thought it was cute, but it has kind of come out similar. But um, that's okay. We'll figure it out. This I'm putting on is the Tatcha. It's the Tatcha Gold Beauty Oil. Um, I recently got a package from them, which I was so excited about because I actually really like their products. Um, but I really like this oil. 
it's like a dry oil, it kind of it doesn't leave too much of a residue on your skin. But it smells beautiful. And yeah, it just kind of hydrates the skin a lot. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit of the Smashbox primer, the photo finish. I'm just gonna use it in the center. I just kind of have noticed some pores. My skin's not been the greatest lately, but um, I don't know what's going on with it. It's a hell of a lot better than what it was. But I'm just trying to figure out new things to use. For foundation, I'm gonna use a Born This Way in Warm Nude, the one I always use. Okay, I think it might be a little bit darker for me now because I have to redo my tan, but um, I'll just bronze my neck to make up for it. Now in with Shape Tape, um, in the shade of Light, as always. This beauty sponge is a Morphe beauty sponge. This is the shape. Now I'm just gonna set underneath the eyes using Next to Nothing from MAC. This is the shade Light Plus. This brush is Zoeva 114. So it's just basically to set the concealer so it doesn't crease on me. For my contour, I'm gonna use the Cap on D Shade and Light Contour. This is the Cream Contour. So these are the colors. I, I haven't even swatched it as you can see. It's still brand new, fresh. So I decided we'll just try this here together. Yeah, we're gonna try this one here called Spice. So I'm just gonna use a flat brush. This is a Zoeva 234. Let's see how this goes. Color looks good, it's nice and ashy. Let's do it along the jaw too. Because why not? I might just put the, whatever's left on the brushes around here. Now to blend that out, I'm using a Morphe Y10 brush. Oh, that blends so easy. And the color, yes, the color is perfect. Yes, to this product. Like, look how that color is just literally perfect. So I'm gonna go in with Marc Jacobs Black Eyeliner Pencil for underneath the eye. So we're going right into the waterline and along the lash line as well. Like so, and then we're gonna go in, I'm gonna use a MAC 239, and I'm just gonna go in and soften all this out. And I'm going to go back in with Noche and Freckles. I'm going to use the dark one first. And I'm going in with a MAC 217. So we're just going right over the black. So this helps like set the pencil as well. Because those pencils are quite waxy. Um, some of the pencils can be quite waxy and they tend to move around a bit. So when you always put a shadow on them, it helps them stick. And now in with freckles. And we're just gonna go right in there. This is the first brush I use, the Morphe one. Cause we're going for that more of a blown out looking eye. Like always actually, I always do a blown out smoky. We're just getting right in there. And now I'm gonna quickly the lashes I'm wearing are Huda Beauty lashes in the style Farah. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to get a little bit of Vivacious and I'm just going to highlight the inner tear duct. 
That colour is so pigmented. That's amazing. I usually have to wet my brush for that. But not this time. I need to get myself more colour pop shadows because if they're the same formula as this palette, then I need every single one of them. So I'm just bronzing my skin now using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. Um, the number wore off this, but I think it's the second lightest shade. And this brush I'm using is a Morphe M530 brush. And for blush, I'm going to use Style Blush from MAC. For my highlight, I'm going to use the Too Faced highlight. This one is called Blinded by the Light. So I think it's the lightest shade in the... I think there's three different ones. This is the lightest shade. I'm actually obsessed with this. And you will see why now. See? So fab. So for my lips, I'm going to use a Bite Beauty pencil. This is the shade number 10. And then on top of that, I'm going to use the Melted Latex from Too Faced in the colour Peekaboo. So there we go, this is the final look. Um, I have to say I'm obsessed with these melted latex lipsticks. Um, they're really soft, they don't bleed, they actually stay on for a long time, which I was surprised at. Um, because usually glossy things tend to fade pretty quick. These, for me, the colours that I have tried have stayed on quite well. Um, and just so you know, they do not contain latex, I asked, because people have asked me before. They don't contain latex, they... it's just in the name, just because it looks latex on your lips, that's all. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you like this look, I actually do. It would be something I probably would wear out. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe, and if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video.